I'm working for an hourly wage. I went to high school, didn't do great. Still, I gotta make more cash. More education is what I'm looking at. We've all turned on our TV at least once and seen one of these commercials, or something like it. Promoting students to go online and get their degrees. Arkansas Tech is offering its newest program to its curriculum, the E-Tech program ran by Dr. Hannah Norton. Dr. Norton has been over this program since May of 2011. Um, it is something more. It is online classes. E-Tech is um, an initiative by the university to, we've had online since 2000, but this was a way uh, for us to go in. We're focusing right now on the Bachelor of Professional Studies, um, but to really have the um, support behind developing these classes. So my position, an instructional designer and a multimedia coordinator were all added um, with the idea that faculty who would be developing would get some support. People had been developing online in the past but didn't really have that support system before. There are many different factors that go into what makes an ETEC course compared to just an ordinary online course. Blackboard is still a very dominant feature in both and the grading is still the same but there are a few major differences. Um, the other part about eTech that's different from other online classes is that we're trying to encourage people to have uh, interaction in those classes, interaction between the faculty and student and also student to student interaction. There are certain tools like Uvu, a video chat that rivals that the likes of Skype, that certain teachers use to create that student to teacher, student to student interaction with each other. With the ETEC program being set up the way it currently is, many students may feel that they want to try this, but the ETEC program is not for everyone. An online class takes a lot more responsibility. It, it, uh, it requires a lot more responsibility on the part of the student. Um, if there's something that you don't understand when you're in class, you just raise your hand and ask that person. Uh, when you're doing something online, you do have to take the initiative to say, gosh, I didn't understand this point, or could you, could you elaborate more so that I can do this assignment? Um, and an incoming freshman at 18 just isn't necessarily qualified to do that. With such a fresh beginning, the ETEC program has nowhere to go but up. Where will it be in the next few years?